Hi everyone, it's Iggy from Iggy Creates back with another guide. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting some fun modded builds. This means that I've modified in-game items to make it look like the way I want them to. It seemed to stir up a lot of interest from both modders and non-modders to see what possibilities there are. It's a very complicated and time-consuming process, but I'm here to break it down in a series of short videos. If you don't plan on doing any of the, craz of the craziness, you could also just put down requests of what kind of mods you want to see me make. Keep in mind that this is geared towards users who already have a modded switch. If you don't already have a modded switch, please check out Clutch's guides that I will link below on, and other links that you will need for this guide. In this first video of the series, I'm simply going over the basics of changing the color of an item and then showing how to import it into the game. So first off, you're going to need a couple of tools and I'll link them below as well. You need the actual ROMFS game files, which looks like... This, a series of folders with everything in them. You'll also need Switch Toolbox, which lets you edit the game files. And then a photo edit editor, which in this case I use Photoshop. Last thing you'll need is the Disable ROMFS File Size Restriction file, which also is linked below. It's a lot, but once you have all these things, we can get started. First, I'm going to open up the ROMFS folder, which I renamed mine to make it easier to find. All of the items and furniture we can edit is in this folder called Model. Some of you may have multiple folders like me, like Model 0, 1, 2, um, but most of them are going to be in Model. In today's tutorial, we're going to edit the blue iron bridge to be a different color. Since I've been doing this for a while, I know the file names pretty well so I don't have to scroll through much and I just do a search. But in this case, we'll just do it manually. So say we're scrolling. Um, we we'll be looking for bridge. There's a lot of items. Okay, so we have bridge, iron, nin, and x. So that's one that we want to edit. So go ahead and drag that into toolbox. So we have it open here. Here's the first folder with everything inside of it. Double click it, double click output, and then we'll make this a little bit bigger here. So if you scroll out, you can see the bridge there, I'm using right click to rotate the model. And you can see them at all different angles. Uh, what you can do is go to models and then uncheck some of them, bring it down to one. That way you can see what mo one model looks like. Now on the left side, you're going to see the textures. So I'm going to open that up and you'll see three file types. Now when you're working with these models, there's Usually three file types, sometimes an extra file type called OP, but these are the ones that you should always be seeing. ALB, which is the albedo, which is also known as the base. It's the main color of the bridge. Mix is basically the shine of the metal, of the material. And then NM or NRM, I can't really read that. That's the normal. So if you click on each of them, you'll see the different colors in the bottom right. For simplicity, for simplicity, we're only going to change the albedo, so click it and go to edit uh, over here on the bottom right next to here. ALB, go to edit. We're going to do this with an external program. Change the file format to PNG and then do edit default program. So I'm going to be opening in Photoshop. Okay, so we have the bridge base color here. You can see it's a blue iron bridge. What I'm going to do is, you're going to have to find an equivalent in your photo editor if you don't have Photoshop. But I'm basically going to put a layer on top of it. New adjustment layer. And go to hue and saturation. You can mess with the different layers, but basically you want to use the tools that will let you change the color. So over here on the right side, as you can see, it's changing the color of the bridge. So, I don't really have anything specific in mind. Maybe we can do like a jade color bridge like that. Make it like lighter right there. And then once you're happy with your settings, what you want to do is file, 
export quick export as a PNG you could rename the file if you want but uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna save everything on a desktop so it's easy to find okay so we've saved that now we can go back to toolbox and we want to put that new texture file for the ALB so right click ALB replace and then find the um, the color texture that you made so double click that to open press ok and then there we go so you can kind of see a preview of it it's actually a pretty nice color um, so now that we have the color that we want you know you can see them all different angles again you go to file save as and keep this file name the same. Just make sure you don't overwrite it in your original ROM FS files. Again, I'm gonna just leave it on the desktop so we can find it easier. Here it's gonna ask you if you want some placeholders. I always just press no. Skip all the placeholders. A lot of them. And then finally, the most important thing is compress file with ZSTD, yes, or else it's not gonna load in the game. Alright. So we've made our modified, this is our first modified file, if you've been following me on this, congratulations so far. We're going to go to the switch now, and if you download all the necessary files I mentioned earlier, you should have the FTP um, app. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're on my switch, we're going to go to FTP, FTPD Pro open that up so now our switch is able to connect to our computer so i have my ip there and whatever ip it says on your um, switch that's what you're going to be typing so i can just like type it here you want to do ftp colon slash slash put your ip address on the switch with um colon 5000 so we've now loaded into the switch and what you want to do is go to atmosphere contents look for the title id of animal crossing which is this one 0106f and here you may not have this rom fs folder so first thing you want to do is make a new folder called rom fs and the way modded files work is that it basically layers on top of the original file um, since we modded a file from the model folder, you want to make a matching folder in ROMFS called model. So that's why I have a model folder here. Even if you get a file from model 1 or model 2, they're all just going to go into this model folder. This goes for the same with any other type of file you want to edit. Always make a matching folder. The last thing you want to do is make a folder called system in ROMFS. Right now we're in the ROMFS folder, right? So make a system in that folder, make resource, and then place that file I mentioned earlier, resource size table, is to disable any file size restrictions. If you don't have that, some of your mods may not load, so make sure you do that. So, okay, here we are going to open up the model folder, and then this is the bridge um, the green bridge that we made. So all you do is drop it in there and now it's on your switch. So it's already transferred. Don't mind my outfit. Uh, I was just doing some tests. <laughs> wow, that green actually looks pretty nice. I like it. It's a bit laggy on my island, but yeah, I like this green a lot. I could probably make some matching green fences as well. Well, that's the end of the video. It's confusing at first, but this is why I want to teach the basics first before going into anything crazier. Master this first, or else it could be really frustrating. Alright, so if this video helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share it too while you're at it. If you show me enough interest, I plan to make more tutorials to show how to model how to do model replacements like how I got the big museum tree to become an item. Um, those videos will build upon the basics covered in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I catch you on my Wednesday night streams at 7pm PST 
where you can ask me some questions while I build. Alright, have a great day. Take care.